guys welcome back to my channel my name is melissa also known as the thrifty bride and today is going to be a very small well not very small but a short thrift haul so um this is in the morning and i'm about to go thrifting i'm about to go to the bins with my friend Kristen. so i am tired and it's 708 in the morning which i don't usually film in the morning so i've like had two sips of my coffee anyway so i this is I don't think this is from the trip that had 161 pounds. I started, I was actually processing that. Um, and I think I'm just going to do a like picture haul later because I've listed a lot of it now. And uh, I was like, oh, wait, are these broken? No, I just need to put the strap in the correct place. Okay. So the first one are Tevas. These are some men's. I believe they're men's. Okay. Let me see uh us nine maybe not i don't know i'll have to figure out if these are men's and women's um these are probably women's honestly but some tiva sandals they need to be some clean they need to be some cleaned up they need to be cleaned up a little bit but after that they'll be fine i mean i expect 20 25 from these really um yeah i'm putting stuff on the ground sorry i did i found this one and this does it have fry yeah it does have fry on the outside so it has Okay, my face can't be in it. See that symbol? It's fry. And it's also on this part of the boot. And I saw one and I was like, you know, can I find the other one? And yes, I can. So I was very happy about that. These are size 10B, I believe. Let me look on the inside. But they're beautifully distressed. Yes, 10B. Um, and they have the fry on the inside. And they're just beautifully distressed. I have them opposite direction. <laughs> and I will always pick these up no matter what time of year. Oh, oh no. Oh no. So I did not realize that was happening in one of them. Well, I might have to go and take this to a cobbler and see how much it would cost to resold these. They're not my size, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just sell these for like... 20 bucks and sell them as is and somebody else can take them to a cobbler oops oh well oh my god things are falling already okay so this is Costco's oh cos cob I've never heard of it before it looks uh it says 1516 um and this looks pretty small so um it's a like a uh grape it's like a light i don't know medium grape um velvet blazer so i will have to do a little bit of uh research on this but we'll see um but i just i love getting velvet blazers i think they do well okay so this one is oh this was in my maybe pile and i didn't actually look it up so it came home with me. This is Shanice. Um, and it is this kind of lagging look, uh, button down top has, um, interesting kind of mixed pattern there. And it has these pockets. What is it made out of? It was made in Romania. Um, what are you made out of? Do you say? Viscose and uh, lane, which is wool. So, yeah, I thought that was interesting. Definitely lag and look is a keyword, a neutral, um, minimalist, all those. Okay, this is made in Canada. And this is Chaps by Ralph Lauren. Has to say Ralph Lauren for it to be the Chaps by Ralph Lauren. Um, if it's just Chaps, it's not the same line. It's, I can't remember if it was bought at some point. I think it was. I'll have to look that up. Anyway, this is a really interesting uh, houndstooth. If I get it close enough, you can see. It's like a mixed color houndstooth uh, blazer. It's a two button blazer. I think it's wool. Let me see. Uh, no, it's silk and wool. So it's 52% silk, 
48% wool made in Canada, which stuff that's made in Canada usually does well. Um, cause they have do, they have good craftsmanship. Um, does it say a size? I don't think it tells me the size. Oh, well, I'll have to figure that out, but I'm sure it's on here somewhere. I'll just have to figure it out. Anyway, so that was, I thought, a good pickup. Um, I didn't know if this was a good brand or not, but I don't know. I kind of liked the Parade, and it's by Parade, so it's not like a print, print on demand type thing. And this is like embroidered on, like an embroidered patch. So here's the tag. I will have to look that up and see. Um, but it's a medium and it's polyester. Oh, it's cotton, sorry, not polyester. It has a phone number on the back says text us. <laughs> but it feels like nice quality. It it really does. Like it it has a nice quality to it. So just because of feel alone, I feel like <laughs> all the feels. Um, I feel like it's probably going to be a decent, you know, pickup. This is coin one, eight, one, oh God, 1804. This is a three X. Um, but the reason I really want, I mean, I kind of like this tie dye, but look at the buttons in the back. I thought that was really cute. So I have to look that up as well. Like I got, I ended up picking up some stuff I've not ever heard of before. Okay, so this is Pistola, and this is size 32, so this is a good size, and they are skinny, but they've been cut off at the bottom. Um, I still wear skinny. I know many people that still wear skinny, so I'm still picking up skinny. I pick up basically all. I will pick up boot cut and, and flare and skinny all the time because they all rotate. So, you know, and people will still buy the other styles, even if that's not in, in fashion at the time. So, you know, this is N B D the size small. It's really hard to see, but it's just really cute. It is a strapless dress and it's like a mini, mini like knee length. It's like mini is the underneath, but then it goes down to your knees. Did it go down to my knees? It goes down past my knees. So it's like a, a mini, 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 mini. <laughs> so like a mini maxi. Oh, I wish there was like one term for those. Okay, so this, I know this is H&M, but uh, we've all seen that tag and I do not pick up much H&M. This is extra small for one. This is like an oversized extra small. Um but it has pockets and I just couldn't not pick this up. And it's made nice. It's, it's actually pretty nice. Like it doesn't feel cheap, but it has this like really cool print on it. And it has these pockets. Where are the pockets? There are pockets. Okay, they're on the side, sorry. They're side pockets. But I don't, I think this would be really good for vacation wearing at the beach. Someone's going to love that. And like I said, I do not pick up a lot of H&M. Okay. So, okay. This is a collab. So it's a collab with, uh, that and a Looney Tunes also known as AKA plus, uh, Looney Tunes. And it's Marv the Martian, Marvin the Martian, not Marv. But I just thought this was so cool. And I think someone didn't pick it up because there's it a little bit, I need to fix that, which I'll just hand sew it and just try to match the stitching, which isn't all that hard, honestly. So, okay, so I picked these up because they're new with tag, although I did pick up another Old Navy thing that wasn't new with tag, but people love Old Navy. So size large, oh my God, really? There we go. And uh, this was sold on oldnavy.com and they're just a camo pair of leggings, loungewear, you know, nothing you're gonna get a ton of money for. 
Um, this is Scully. This is Western. This is vintage. I believe this is vintage. But yeah, this is leather. It's suede. And it has the snap up. It does have a pocket on the inside. And it's lined. So yeah, I think that'll do well. Okay, so this dress is, who are you? Oh, I've sold this brand before. It didn't sell for a whole lot, but I think it sold for like $40. This is Mora Lee, Madeline Gardner. Although my other one, I think just said Mora Lee and not Madeline Gardner. So I don't know, maybe this is a better line, but look how beautiful this is. It's just stunning. So I kind of had to pick it up and you know, there's going to be formal events this year. I think there's going to be a lot of weddings this summer and, uh, so yeah. Okay. So this is Grace Karen, which I don't think is like expensive, but I really just like the dress. It's new a tag. I don't know where it's sold at. Probably Kohl's. But I know I just, I thought this palm print on the dress was perfect. And I thought this will do well. It's a medium but it's a nice like fit and flare dress. Okay. So what time is it? Okay, 7.18, I'm doing well. This is Fashion Bug, this is vintage. Um, but I really thought this was a good pickup because I mean, yeah, look at that. I need to put this in front of me. But yeah, I think this is they do have pockets that are just sewn shut still, but yeah, someone would like this. And it's a pretty good size. I mean, it's a size, I don't think it says a size. Does it? I mean, by trying it on, it's like a size, at least a size one X because it does almost fit me. So I'm just gonna say it's a one X. Um, I think the size tag has been removed but you take measurements and stuff like that. Plus I will probably have to model that. I haven't really been doing that, but I need to get back into it. Oh, okay. I picked this up. Oops. Okay. I picked this up because I thought it was the same exact pattern as the other one. It's not. So maybe this is a mistake, but this is old Navy as well. Come on. It's also a large, maybe I'll just keep this one for myself. I don't know. Cause it's, it's a pretty big large. I think I could probably wear it. Okay, this is new tag. I think this was sold at Dillard's. Yeah. Um, Dillard's is a department store. I think it's on the East Coast or maybe in the Midwest. This is Midnight Doll. But I just really thought this dress was really pretty. So I thought, you know, resort wear. Um, people are going to vacation, you know, we just we want to be pretty during the summer in the spring. So I thought, yeah, that's definitely a good thing to pick up. What are you? Oh yeah. This is a, um, hundred percent cotton by lands and no LL bean. Sorry. This is an LL bean. It's a hundred percent cotton. I think it's extra, extra large, but tall. So I do believe this is men's. Um, but it's a robe and I found the, uh, the tie. So, Oh my God, where is it? Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is definitely men's. But yeah, then I found the tie and I thought, oh yeah, that's perfect. So, and I don't mind picking up these cotton robes because they're not bulky. They're not bulky like the big plush ones. Yeah, I need coffee. Okay, end up getting some shorts. This is Gap, 1969. This is old Gap. But I just really thought these jeans were cute, or these uh, shorts were cute. So these are the authentic summer short, size 30. Good size. Oh yeah, this was sticking out of the bin. I believe this is probably a twin top sheet. But then I saw Pottery Barn Kids. And this is 100% cotton, I believe. Yeah. And uh, it's from 2007, so it's almost vintage. 
but it has like these cool uh it's like uh what do you call it baseball so i thought you know someone will probably buy that i don't know how much for but i'm imagining at least 25 you know dollars oh, okay i've never heard of this but you know anything that says italy i tend to pick up okay i guess my coffee can't be right there in case i dip something into it this is saint malone made in italy size 42 so I believe that's like a size 12, maybe a 10. Okay, let's make sure that zipper works because that would be a real big bummer. But okay, so has like these lace, uh, sheer lace, um, like kind of cap sleeves. But then look at the beading. I just think this is really, really pretty. And it has like some lace down here. And then the back, I think the back is just plain. Yeah, and then this ties in the back. And I think this is made out of linen. Feels like linen or silk. Like a linen silk blend. Oh, it's cotton polyester. Polyester? Polyester elastane. So it's not. But it's woven in such a way it kind of feels like a cotton uh, linen almost. But it has this nice sheen to it. So yeah. I was like, I wonder if that's a good brand. Oh, I'm gonna fall over. Okay. So this, I don't think this is a good brand at all, but I like the print. So it's my Mishka, 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 Pai Mishka. Um, it sounds Russian, but look how beautiful this is. So I was like, you know, I can't not get this. It has polka dots, metallic. I mean, it has all the things. Boho, maxi. What marker do you want? Okay. And this one is Fairlane Slim. Come on. Got to block out my face. Um, And this is uh linen cotton and spandex and uh this is from 2019 this is a uh, laurel oak so at least i have a style name to kind of look up and and see i don't know how expensive this was originally but it just looked like a good i don't know good neutral blazer so and this is men's or women's this is men's so yeah the men's two button blazer this probably could do well all right my pile over there is growing okay plus i'm trying to free up some bags for you know today so i have this pile to come back and sort later <laughs> okay so this is tailored in the usa but what are you oh this is austin reed um london england Men's blazer obviously has a two button, has gold details. That's what's on the buttons. And yeah, has these flat pockets. So I thought, yep, I still like to pick up blazers. This is probably, what is it made out of? Ooh, I cannot tell. It's union though. So I think the size tag got cut out. It is union made. So vintage probably. Oh yeah, this is pretty. And I was really surprised. Okay, when you're looking at this, what well, who would you think made this, right? Look at this really pretty, I was, okay. I'll tell you who I was hoping for, Johnny was. I was wrong. I did pick up anyway though. I don't care if it's small, I don't care if Target. Um, it's exhilaration. I don't think exhilaration is actually sold anymore, but it's this really pretty. I mean, it feels nice. Like kimono has a tie and that beautiful embroidery. Someone's going to love that. Someone's going to buy that. Like there's certain pieces and lower end lines that you know are just going to go. And that's going to be that piece. Mark my words. I hope I'm right. Watch a year later, like this sold a year later for $2. No. Okay. 
So this is Athleta. This is an extra large. This is like a zip up jacket. So I thought, yep. And it's like a quilted lightweight jacket. Good for like the springtime, you know? Okay. What time is it? Okay, making good time. This is Victoria Jones Woman. This is vintage, I believe. This is a 3X. No, it is not. It is 30 or 18W. So 18WW means women's. Some people say wide. It does not mean wide. But, you know, it's a good, like, you know, Western shirt. Has some cool embroidery on it. Um, I'll show you the embroidery better. So I thought, you know, why not? Western wear usually does pretty good, pretty well. This is Paul Smith Women Italy, made in Italy. So I picked this up. This was like in someone's reject pile. And you know, it has a snaps and I just, the pearl snaps, I just thought it looked cool. So I picked it up. Um, this is silk, I do believe. Yes, it is. Petticoat Alley which is like a retro brand. Um, and this is a silk kind of mixed print uh, tank top. And figured why not it's light, even if it doesn't do a whole, a whole lot. I am still picking up Knox Rose. This is a large. Um, and this, I think this will do well. I didn't clean up the, I need to clean up the sleeves a little bit, but yeah, why not? This is also from H&M, but it is a faux leather moto jacket. And there are people out there that are still looking for these. This is a medium. I think this could do like $25, $30, you know, it's in good shape. So I don't think it's that old. Do you tell me? Let me see it on the inner tag where it says what year it's from. I don't think H&M does. But like I said, I do not pick up much from H&M. And if I do, it'd be like their coats. Because sometimes their coats can do really well. Um, Yeah, I'm expecting, you know, $25, $30 for that. Probably. Oh, yeah, I was excited about this. Eileen Fisher Large. I do believe it's linen. I think this is an older tag um, and it's just like a linen dress, very minimalist. Yeah, um, I'm going to wash it in my purwall, which I'll, you know, with the black purwall. Yeah, it's 100% Irish linen. It's not just linen. It's in linen from Ireland. So yeah, but I'm going to wash it with purwall and it'll deposit more black on it. I don't know. Is it faded though? I think it is a little bit. It has a little bit of fading at the seams. So yeah, I'll wash it with that. Deposit some more color back into it to so be more rich. And it, that works pretty good, pretty well, actually. Oh yeah. So I saw this and it is international, right? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I have not seen that. But then I saw the Mervyn's tag. Oh my God, can I show you Mervyn's? Okay, this is dead stock. This is vintage dead stock crinkle skirt. It's like a navy blue crinkle skirt. Mervyn's went away like in the late 90s. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is also Eileen Fisher, but I think this is a newer tag. I'm not. I don't know how to tell the newer tags. If you know how, put that in the um, comments below. But it's just like this little pencil skirt. It has pockets. It has this cool metallic detail. And then the back is just um, plain, but it is stretchy. Okay. These are Everlane. These are the curvy cheeky jean. These are size 35 crop. 
I don't know. I might be able to fit these. I don't know. But they have like this raw edge hem. And yeah, I thought they were in great condition. And I love finding plus size clothing. Love it. Because A, maybe I get to wear it. B, I like supporting other plus size people because, you know, it's hard to find cute clothes. It really is. Um, this is Victoria Harbor. Um, it's a, just Fender 25. But I really like the Aztec motif of this scarf. It is new a tag. So why not? This is Tahari. And I will pick up Tahari in substantial pieces. Um, not everything Tahari, because not everything Tahari does well. But this quilted puffer, I think it's a down jacket. I figured I couldn't do wrong. I really love these ribbon um, pulls, not pulls. What are they called? I don't remember. This is down, I think it was. No, the fill is polyester, so it's not down. But um, this is from 2015 and this looks great for being from 2015. So I picked it up anyway. Anyway, so. I just have a Hulkin left, which I'm going to put up here. Hope it doesn't roll off the table. <laughs> okay, so this is Cara Santana and Nine West. This is a collab. Um, and this was sold at Kohl's. So it sold for $60 originally. This is a size large, but it feels really nice. And I just really liked it. Like this long line uh, cardigan, open front cardigan. And it's a it's light. Does that have pockets? No, no pockets. But it's really lightweight. So I think it'd be good for spring. Um, oh yeah, this is Gymshark. No size. So I'm gonna have to measure it. I'm not sure why I picked it up. It has no measure, it has no size. I'm trying not to pick up things that have no size on them, but it does have this little thing on the back, like, you know, Lululemon does for men, these two lines. So I'm going to need to look that up and see if that means anything. Cause those are probably a size like medium, you know? Oh yeah. This is a size. What are you? It's Nike, it's size 24 months, but you can see Nike right here. So yeah, how adorable is that? Total core for baby. So yeah, I'm picking that up. Um, This is Escada and this is size 44. Um, And this is it does have the equivalent size, I think. No, it doesn't. No, it sure doesn't. I have to, I'll have to look that up. But this is made from uh, Rayon. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's Rayon. But it's really pretty. Like this really pretty tweed skirt. It's a really cool pattern. So I picked it up. No idea what year that's from. Um, this is, what are you? Who are you? Peace and Pearls. This is from Stitch Fix, I believe. It's extra large. I won't get a lot for this, but it's a really cool active dress. I love the palm print. So yeah. And then this is the, oh, is this the, okay. This is the back. Oops. So it has like this kind of trapeze look to it. All right. Oh, there's the tie to the next one. This has a small hole in it, which I think I can repair. Um, I might not actually repair it anyway, but here's a tag. And this is uh, made in Great Britain. 
It's all wool, store for men. So it's Jordan Marsh Company. I think that's how it's written in Old English. So, but you know, I decided I'm gonna pick it up. I need to, you know, I found this first. I put this in my cart and then further down the bin, I found that. I'm like, oh, that's its tie. So yeah, thought that'd be worth it. Okay, here is just a silk scarf. I don't think it has a brand on it, but it has, you know, the roll hem. Actually, it doesn't. So this might be polyester, like a simulated silk. Feels like silk though. It moves like silk. So I think it really is silk, just not high end. <laughs> I don't always get those to sell. Sometimes I just get it to wrap up stuff. I got something in my mouth. Okay. This is uh, Jay McLaughlin. This is a medium. I just thought it was really pretty. Liked the, uh, this is like some three, four sleeves. I just thought it was nice. So I got it. That's generally a good brand to pick up. Oh. Okay, let me let me put this together real quick because it needs to be snapped together. When I found this, I was like, oh, very Shakespeare. It's very excited. I think, I don't know if this is something handmade. I don't think it has a, I don't think it has a um, brand on it at all, but look at this. I think this is like someone's project. They did a really good job. Like, look how pretty that is. And it's all velvet. And see if there's anything on the inside. There isn't. Yeah, you can tell like, like this is the inside. This is someone's handmade project. So bespoke for sure. Well, bespoke means it's like one of a kind, I think. Like handmade, but one of a kind. This might be, I don't know. So I'm gonna do a little research on it and you know, but it was just too pretty to not pick up. And I'm not gonna put that over there. So put this over here so I can remember to look it up. Um, this is, what are you? Uh, Br Bruno Men's Washable Linen. Um, so it's 100% linen. Figured why not? Pretty cool shirt, good resort wear. Why not? Um, this is, what are you? Freshka Ropa Hindu. So I wonder if this is made in India, but it's so pretty. Look at this dress. Look at it. I cannot leave it behind. Very appropriate for the upcoming season. Does it tell me where it's made? It does have some lining on the inside. It feels cotton. Okay, so Fresca, 100% Algod Algodon, which is cotton. Okay. This is Anthropology Saturday, Sunday. Um, I don't think this is a current line, but how beautiful is that? Just so pretty. I think it's an open front, like kind of sweater blazer. It's a size extra large. How extra large is this? Oh, you know, you know, I'm not an extra large, but I wouldn't feel, I mean, okay, the girls are a bit too big, but you know, it's nice. It feels nice. It has kind of a little bit of a bell sleeve to it that you can't see, but yeah, yeah, it's nice. I will pick up older anthropology pieces because, yeah. Um, original use, I've never heard of this brand, but it's an extra, extra large. 
I, it looks, it's men's. It's obviously men's because I would swim in this and I'm an extra, extra large. So, but that was a good substantial piece. I liked the green, you know, okay. there we go. Push that, uh, tower of clothing down. Okay. What are you? This is a beautiful dress. I think this is handmade. So this has no tags in it at all. So it is a halter dress, but how beautiful is this? Like a halter maxi dress. Somebody is gonna love this. Just, yeah. Couldn't pass it up. I will just take measurements. This looks like it could be a large though. Okay, well, a few more things found another kimono. This one doesn't have flowers on it or anything. So this one I think would be, I don't know, for a man. Um, so how do we cotton made in Japan? Here's the tag. And the tag says, Jugyu? I don't know. I don't speak Japanese. So, um, but yeah, it has these traditional um, sleeves, kimono sleeves. It doesn't have its tie or anything like that, but I have sold plenty of these. Well, I mean, only like four of them, but that's, I have a hundred percent sell through rate on kimonos, like Japanese kimonos. I've only found four of them. This is the fifth one I found, but all of them have sold. Um, so yeah, beautiful. Um, I don't know. I thought it was interesting. And this is what are you? This is Athleta. And it is a 36D or double D bathing suit top. It has underwire in it, but it is like a tikini type thing. So you'd have to put your, a different bottom with it. Um, this is, what are you? Oh, this is Bowden. I love picking up Bowden. This is a 10. Oh, UK 10, I'm sorry, six American, so six for the US. But it is this yellow with like these fern leaves on them. And yellow is going to be a color for the spring. So I think this will do well. Nice, cheerful color. Um, this is, and we're almost done, we're almost at the bottom. This is Burton Durable Goods, made in Ver Burlington, Vermont. Uh, it's a medium, but I thought it was just really pretty. I think it's a dress. Let's see. Yeah, it goes down to my knees. So this would be a dress. Has pockets. So yeah, nice little shirt dress type thing. Okay. Oh yeah. This I was excited about finding. I think this will do well. This is Bohemian Cafe. I've never seen this before. Size 16, rayon viscose, but it has a, I have to fix it in the back, but look how cool this is. It does have a tear that has ripped apart. Uh, where are you? In the back somewhere. Anyway, it was just at the seam at one of these tiers, which will be easy to hand stitch. Okay. Hello, cottage core. So this is a private party, maybe rainy. So I know this is a vintage and look how pretty this is. love the kind of puff sleeve detail and I think it has some stains I need to get out of it but I am pretty confident I will be able to so yeah we'll be saving that piece okay this is Garnet Hill have a pretty good sell through rate with this brand as well not 100% because I have a few pieces I haven't sold but for the most part she sells pretty well. This is a dress. She has pockets. Very stretchy. 
kind of like a interesting polka dot type, you know, and polka dots are in. Um, okay. So this I think is silk, but I don't know. It feels good though. Although it is stretchy, so it probably isn't silk. Maybe it is. I don't know, but it's interesting. So I picked it up. And like I said, I don't always pick them up to resell. Sometimes I'll just pick them up to like wrap people's packages in for more of a presentation type thing. This is Torrid. It's a size one. Come on. But it's really pretty. Love the back on this. The back, look how cool that is. So yeah, you have to wear something underneath it. It is semi-sheer, but I don't know, I might keep this. I might keep that for me, because I think that will fit me just fine. Uh, this is Lauren, Ralph Lauren, 100% uh, cotton, I love these sleeves. These dainty little crochet sleeves, so pretty. And yeah, just a regular dress. I think this would do okay, you know. And the last piece is this Torrid. It is a double zero, but I picked it up anyway. I'll show you, just too pretty. So Torrid double zero, this means it's like a size 10. But look how pretty that is. And it's a knit dress. I love it. It's like the scales. Kind of looks like scales on the top, but it's like hexagons almost. No, it's more like scales, like dragon scales almost. But yeah, so that's it. That's that haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments what you thought. Thank you so much.